Hi everybody, I'm Regina Sellers and I'm the creator of Provo the Hand. Well, we are at the end of our little bunny series. I have shown you how to make the body, uh, the body of the little bunny. This is the head and the little and the bottom of the bunny. Uh, there's a video on how to make the nose so ears. I hope you'll enjoy that. There's a little video on how to make the feet, the little feet of the bunny. Okay. I have shown, um, I made a little video on how to make a gorgeous bow, a great big fat bow, because this is really going to highlight our bunny. And so uh, I hope you'll enjoy that. And um, I have some pics, some beautiful pics. And now we're going to put our bunny together and get it all decorated. And I hope you will join me. Thank you. Okay, so here we go. We're going to put our bunny together. Incredibly easy. We're going to use our trusty little white um, uh, covered wire that we get from that I got from Hobby Lobby. The important thing that you want to do here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slide one underneath. I'm going to put one right in the, right in the middle, and you're just going to and it and it's so and you see how I'm tightening this up, and it's okay. You can over you can let your little bunny the top. I always kind of let the little uh, top of the bunny overlap the bottom just a little bit, and you see how that see how tight that's getting. But what you really want to pay attention to here is that your ears line up with the feet. And let me turn it. And let me look, and I'm gonna make sure that my ears line up straight. You want it to just be straight with my feet. And I think I'm absolutely happy with this. I think I got it, I got him straight up and down. You don't want his ears cocked over here and his feet over there. <laughs> you want it to line straight up and down. Okay, so here's my first wire. Y'all, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add about three or four of these wires because this is what I'm going to um, hold my picks. Uh, I'm gonna hold my picks on with this also. And you see how I'm just turning it? So I just turned it. I'm going to make sure I didn't make anything change, change position, unline anything. But I'm going to do several of these, like I said, because uh, I'm going to use these wires. Not only are these wires holding my bunny together, but they are going to hold my beautiful little picks that I'm going to, that I'm going to add to um, um, decorate, decorate our bunny and make our bunny really pretty. So you can add as many as you like, whatever you're comfortable with. I'm just going to go ahead and put this many just to show you that you can. You don't have to put this many, but I'll, I'll go ahead and do it just to so, show you that you can. I'm going to put one more. Like I said, you don't have to do this many, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it just to show you, you know, the possibilities and what you can do. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And this is what, and you see, how, I mean, that really holds your bunny together. Okay. Let me turn this, make sure that it, it is straight up and down. And you see with doing that, I think I moved my feet a little bit. I know I did. See, you have to just, and I did it with this, this wire right here. Because this is the wire that came undone. You move this over just a little bit. When you're putting it together, you just just be certain that your little bunny, his little feet. We don't want we don't want our little bunny to look drunk or anything. Like like he's got a hangover and he's can't can't walk straight <laughs> or stand up straight. Whatever. Okay. Let me look at him again. Does he look straight up and down? I think he does. I think he does. And uh, another thing that you can do at this point, you know what? I'm going to put another piece of wire. I'm, he's kind of wanting to turn a little bit this way. I'm going to put another piece of wire right here, kind of make him stand up a little bit more on this side. Kind of turn him. There you go. I think that's what I want. Okay. Now what you can do, you either, this is just another step. Oh, I got a lot of wire in here, but that's okay. I'm going to use them all. It's okay. It's really going to secure it. Let me let me turn him one more time. Yes, I'm very happy with that. Okay. Now, uh, what you can do is put a lot of hot glue here if you'd like. 
Uh, you can if you want to. You can you can add hot glue. You can stick your hot glue gun up under here if you want. That's just entirely up to you. I uh, just want to tell you that you can at this point, since I've used so many pieces of wire, I don't believe I'm going to put any. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my picks on my bunny. Um, here's a little pick that I got. I got this from Wreaths of Joy. I think it's absolutely precious. Whenever I saw it, and I saw these little bunnies, I think they're just about the cutest things I've ever seen. And I thought they would be perfect for my bunny. We're just gonna bunny him up. <laughs> and you see how all you're gonna do is just lay your pick, okay, right on um, top of right on top of your bunny and kind of just play with it. You know how it is with picks. Whenever you take them out of the package, you got to start playing with them. We're going to take this, this little bunny right here and we're going to pull him up kind of in the bow. Okay. We're just going to kind of just lay things. Okay. And what, what I want this to do is I want this to curve around. As you can see, I'm accomplishing that. When everything, I don't want I don't want everything to just stick straight out. I want it to curve around and follow the curve of my bunny. I want some of this to kind of come to the inside. Okay, because this is where a lot of the engine, you know, you want to draw your eye to, you know, the center, your little guy here, your little bunny. Your finished little bunny, kind of pull it up to the ear, just however you like. Okay, it's okay. They kind of come across the ears. I kind of like it that way. Okay, and uh, what you can do, I'm going to use just one of these, just kind of hold this in place. I can use it over and over again. Okay, that's that's our top, that's our top pick. Let's see. Let's put the bottom one on. And now I have one, I have one going to the bottom. And what I did is with my, the, the same pick and is going to the bottom. But what I did is I'm going to turn my little bunnies because I'm going to turn them up because I can't, I don't want my bunnies on their heads. If y'all, any of y'all follow me, y'all know I have a big problem about things being upside down. <laughs> that's just kind of, you know, that's my OCD going on. Y'all can about imagine how OCD I am. So here we go. And you, you're just gonna just play with your pick and just put it in position. You know how it is with picks. You gotta just take them out the package and you gotta play with them. And uh, I call this foo-fooing. If y'all if y'all follow me, y'all know that's my word. And I say I'm foo-fooing. I'm putting everything in kind of in place. And y'all, once I stand this up, it's one thing to do this, you know, flat on the table. Once I get this up on, on the door, I, you can, I can guarantee you I'm going to foo-foo some more. I'm, I'm going to place things, but this is, this is going to give you an idea here. You see how I'm even placing the little balls and the, 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 uh, the poofy little balls that are there. Okay, Oop, and this one just pulled out. That happens sometimes. That's okay. We're going to stick that back in there. Okay, and at this point, probably going to add just a little touch of hot glue right there because that this little stem came out and I certainly don't want that to happen so I'm going to add just a little drop of hot glue and so I'm going to leave this alone for now because I can guarantee you once this is up on the door I because it you know you get a totally different look of course from um, you know looking at it like this as opposed to being up on the door how you really will see it so I think this is about enough foo-fooing for now and I'm just going to put just a touch of hot glue right there where that little pit came out don't want that to happen okay that'll do and look I'm going to use I think this is probably the same piece of wire because I have another pit that's I'm going to lay on here and I'm going to I'm going to tie everything off once I lay the next pick on. OK, and there's our little bunny. That's our little, is that is that the cutest little thing? Let's just stop and adore the bunny. <laughs> He's just precious. I adore the bunny. Again, y'all, I got these picks from Wreaths of Joy and I think they're just it's just fabulous. OK, now I'm going to put this. I'm going to add this little pick in. Okay, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut the tip of this off. This is a little bit too long. 
So let me cut the tip of this off. Here's my trusty little wire cutters. Okay, let's get that off. We don't need quite that much under there. Okay, let's just lay this here. Oh, I think that's going to be fine just like that. Y'all, I did play with this a little bit already. I'm, I'm sure you can tell. Uh, I did, you know, I took it out the package and I play, you know, I played with it a bit already. Kind of seeing where, um, where my little eggs would fall. And once you get your bow on, okay. And I think that's enough foo-fooing for now. And I am going to tie this off. Y'all, that's all it takes. That's just how easy, incredibly easy this is. And I'm just gonna tie, you know, see how I'm just wrapping this around, okay? And now I have tied this in place with my little, um, with my little wires. I want some things coming down here. I knew that I was, with this particular pick, I was gonna let a few little things come down. There they go. And here's our little eggs. Okay, let's put our little egg pick on the other side. Let's see. Like I said, y'all can tell, y'all can probably tell I played with this already because, you know, they never come out the package looking just like this. We're going to probably put this up here. You know, you can take these and pull them, make them a little longer and really make them show. And, you know, like I said, I'm going to, once I get this up on the door, I'm going to play with this some more. And of course, I'll, I'll give you a picture of that whenever it's all finished. And I have finished foo-fooing it. As y'all can imagine, I will. And look at that. I'm just walk, tying it on. Okay? And y'all, how incredibly easy is that? There is, there's our beautiful little pics decorating our bunny. Again, I got I got these pics from Wreaths of Joy. Uh, you can go onto their site. They, they have a ton of stuff. And, uh, you know, I just fell in love. I fell in love with the little bunny rabbit, first of all. So, okay. And you, like I said, you can just play with this. Once it gets on the door, I'm going to play with it some more. But look at this, how precious. This is not precious. There's his little feet, his little ears and he's getting all decorated. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tie off the rest of uh, my ties. And y'all, this is just, it's incredibly secure. Uh, this wire works just beautifully. And uh, as you can see, at this point, I have not put any hot glue. I don't think I am, I don't think I need to. And I'm just tying all of this off. You can hot glue it if you would like entirely up to you here's one more let's tie it off and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to just each one that's next to each other i'm going to kind of wrap them together okay i'm just going to wrap them together okay that's a set this is a set i just do this just just because you know the more you tie it off the better and this will this will wrap together and just hold y'all, this is never gonna move on you. So there that goes. And I'm gonna wrap these two together. Okay, y'all, you, know, you can do this any way you want. This is just how I'm doing it. You, any way you wanna do this, that's fine. Like I said, you can hot glue all of this, just whatever you wanna do. And then whatever, what I wanna do is, and I'm gonna tell you another reason why I don't, uh, I don't always hot glue this, okay? Next year, whenever you, you pulled your little bunny out, you might find a different pick that you like. And since this is not hot glued together, all you gotta do, all you gotta do is undo your little wire and you can change your little bunny up just, just as easy as can be. But as you can see, all I'm doing is just winding my wire up. And y'all, that's all that's necessary. And you see how I'm just sticking it here? I'm not putting any hot glue because next year they might be a different pick or at any time I might find something else I might want to add to my little bunny. And so the wire just holds everything just perfectly. And that's all that's necessary. And look at that, okay? And you can keep changing your bunny up all that you'd like. Now, for the grand finale, our big beautiful bow and here it is and remember how I added that wire 
I have one wire and all I'm doing, y'all from the back, I just sat my 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 big old bow and I, I don't want to flip it over. I don't want to flip it over on its head and mess, mess my bow up. But from underneath, all I'm doing is wrapping that wire. I'm just wrapping that wire round and round itself. And that's it. You can you can hot glue it if you want to. Uh, I'm I'm not going to because again, you know, I have my little bunny made. I might want to change something at some point and um, change a ribbon. Who knows what I might decide to do? Okay, so that's why I don't hot glue it. The the wire holds everything. Your bunny's made and um, and y'all, your bunny's made. You can enjoy it this season, next season that you might see something else that you like. You might want to change it. And uh, because it's not hot glued, you can just just so easily just change anything that you want on your little bunny. Okay. And there's that y'all. Look at that ribbon. Oh, I just fell in love with this ribbon. I just went crazy for it. It was like, okay, when I saw this ribbon, it was like, okay, I have to make something just so I can use this ribbon, okay? And here I go, I'm foo-fooing. Y'all know how I am. If y'all follow me, I, you know, I'm the foo-foo queen. I never stop and I'm gonna work with these bunnies, my little bunny down here so that you can see it. And, and I have another one sitting here. I wanna make sure I'm gonna pull this little bunny up here into my bow. Cause I mean, it's all about the bunny. And it, I want you to be able to see him. Look at the, look at them. They're just adorable. And I'm gonna make sure that they sit right there. I know I got another little, there's a little Easter egg. It's gonna pop out just right there. That's gonna be fine. But y'all, that's it. And that's all there is to finish putting your bunny together. What and what I do, of course, it's it's you know, it's totally your design your design decision is I let my tails just kind of sit. I let them finish uh, and I let them sit right on top of his little feet. And you see how I'm winding this up? Because whenever I stand this up and put this on my door all of my longer tails are going to sit just right on top of his little feet because you want to make sure that you see his little feet i mean you made them they're cute and they're sitting there being part of them being part of him and there they are and y'all i'm going to take a picture of course i'm going to get this up on the door and i'm going to take a picture and if if uh, i see anything else that i might want to change or make lay differently you'll be able to see it in the picture but you can be able to see how this ribbon just comes and kind of just sits right on top of his little feet and that that covers up the whole the, this whole bottom or the inside where it's just a circle and so i i really don't like seeing the door through it but you can once you see it up you can you can clearly see the edges the outside edges of your bunny of course you can see your picks you can see his, his wonderful little feet here and then of course his little ears and here i have turned one of his little ears like he's listening for something and for some reason i just like to put a little something right here um and all I did, all I did, look at this little, and this matches all of my colors, so pretty. And I thought this ma this matched that that this y'all all this is is a little bitty piece of boa, and I tied it in a knot. And I'm gonna put just a tad of hot glue on the back, y'all. Anything that you can find. I I made one bunny, and y'all, I found a little crown. It was little. It was kind of small. And I'm going to try to find a bigger one the next time because I wanted a crown. I wanted like queen bunny. Okay. <laughs> but um, so anyway, I'm just putting there to kind of finish off the top. And just kind of holding it on. And just say it's just a little bit more. Y'all, anything that you want to put on your little bunny, anything that you want to add in, in your decorations and make it just really special and just stand out. There's, there's my little bitty bunny. And here's my other one. I'm going to make sure these pull up so you can really see them. I just think they're just incredibly cute. And y'all, that's it. I mean, how, how easy was that to put your bunny together? That's all it takes. And all you have to do is just lay your bunny down, use those white wire, um, 
the white wire. Um, well, it's just the white wire that I got from Hobby Lobby. Uh, I got all the ribbon in the picks. Uh, all of this, everything came from Hobby Lobby. All the all the decorations and the ribbon and everything. Like I said, I got from Wreaths of Joy, except for this one. One one ribbon. Uh, this is this is just one that I had from last year. I, it's no longer available. And uh, Wreaths of Joy has just gotten in a new one that will take its place beautifully, and you're going to be able to see it on their website. And so there it is. And I just, there's a couple of things on here that I'm just absolutely crazy for. And the one, and the, the first one is this, this, um, the Paisley. I'm just completely crazy for this Paisley. I'm just completely crazy for the little bunny rabbits. And I'm just completely over the top, over the moon for this green one. So that's, that's the things that I like the absolute most in decorating my little bunny. Um, because this has the, the little shiny rickrack in it. That's the reason why I chose to put rickrack in, in my little ear. So that was that kind of little design um, decision there. Another thing is I adore these little, you see, it, you can go back and watch whenever I made the bow. You see how his little face is showing up? And all the, in all the little loops, you're gonna see how you're gonna maybe now that you're seeing well I'm gonna have to see how I'm gonna put this um, whenever I get it up on the door I'll see but you're gonna see the reason why I took that moment and I cut that ribbon because look his little face look at his little face look how his little face is just uh, showing and so you can go back and watch and look look his little face and I just, I adored, I absolutely adored um, what his little face looked like. And so that is the reason why I took that extra moment to cut my ribbon and make sure whenever you see the bow, his little face just shows up every time, okay? So anyway, that's a few little extra details about, about the little bunny. And y'all, th this is it. Your bunny's finished. Uh, I hope you'll enjoy making one. I, I know this might have seemed long, but once you, once you start working, because I talked a lot through, through the videos, but once you start working and you watch the videos, it really doesn't take very long to make one. And so I hope you'll print the pattern and, and uh, enjoy making a little bunny. And uh, please post on, on my website, Probo the Hand or under Regina Sellers. And um, I hope you'll enjoy. I, I hope you'll um, share your bunnies with us also. So that's it for now, y'all. I hope you've enjoyed this little series. Um, thank you so much for uh, following along. Bye for now.